everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. So winter, as well as bringing my favourite holiday with Christmas on the horizon, winter is also my favourite season for beach cleaning. Yes, you have to brave the stormy weather, but it's the time of year where the most plastic gets washed up onto our beaches. Either the microplastics getting churned out of the sand or the big lumps of ghost gear getting washed in by the stormy sea. So it's a really dangerous time to beach clean, but also sometimes when you find the most exciting stuff. But of course, there's a lot of coastline to cover and we can't keep an eye on all of it, which is why we are so inspired by all of the beach cleaning groups around the coastline of the UK. But we're also very lucky to have a very dedicated team of volunteers out there keeping an eye on things for us. And we're very grateful for when anybody messages us to explain a problem that they have noticed whilst out walking. So two of our volunteers, Kevin and Sharon, recently headed down to Constantine Bay. Now, if you follow our Tune In Tuesday video blog series closely, you will be well acquainted with Constantine Bay. Not just the beautiful beach, but they have a severe problem down on Constantine with coastal erosion. And you've seen before that we've put our Christmas trees in there to stop the erosion, but we've also been noticing a whole layer of microplastics that's recently been revealed in the riverbank. Well, Kevin and Sharon went and had a look, and it's not just microplastics that are down there. Actually, what they've noticed is now more of it's being eroded, it's revealing larger items of plastic, particularly ghost fishing gear. So I'm gonna head down there and see just how bad it really is. from those clips there, exactly how Kevin and Sharon explained it to us, there are pieces of ghost fishing gear, clumps of ghost fishing gear, protruding from the riverbank. And it really was a tip of the iceberg scenario where you could just about see the start of the nets and then you'd pull it a little bit and you'd see this huge mammoth of a net buried beneath the sand and there were lots of them. It wasn't just one, there were many. Now I managed to remove as much as I could but it was just me on my own with Bella and I didn't have the right equipment or the safety gear to actually tackle it properly. But we have a very exciting few days ahead of us because tomorrow we have an organized community beach clean down on Constantine, fortunately. So we will take a whole team of volunteers down there with spades and gloves and people power to remove as many of the nets as we possibly can whilst keeping safety as a paramount. And then on Thursday, keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook page because we will be giving an update on the situation, how much of it we were actually able to remove. So please keep an eye out for that. But of course, thank you so much for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday and I'll see you next week for a Christmas special. Thanks. <laughs>